The original idea from which this project grew was not mine. It was an idea of Richard Peake, who was at that time the director of Rare Books Special Collections and Preservation here in the River Campus Libraries at the University of Rochester. And he had the idea that the Seward Collection, in its vastness and depth, as principally the papers of William Henry Seward, would make a good project for a documentary edition of a traditional type. This collection of papers, the sewer papers, isn't just the diplomatic papers, it isn't just State Department stuff, it's not just governor's papers, it's not just the papers of the United States Senator, it is all of those things. Um, but there's also a whole lot of um, other stuff in there um, related to members of the family. There are um, uh, notebooks and other documents related to the education of family members, things that they saved from when they were in school, going back to the 18-teens and 1820s. Uh, there are uh, family business records uh, uh, relate to the family's investments and will, well as expenses uh, on their their house and even in their daily life, you know, how much they spent on different kinds of food, things like that. The core of what we wanted to get at was the, was the letters, was the correspondence, because those were really richly full of family stories and interest and um, all kinds of information about everyday life in the middle of the 19th century.